Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friend. Thank you! Tiger's Delicious Treats Written by Nguyen Tran Thien Lok Tiger lives in a forest. He loves to bake. One day, he bakes a delicious batch of green bean pies. He loads them on a cart and goes to the stream to sell them. The wind carries the aroma of pies through the air. The scent reaches deer. But he doesn't dare to follow the scent. He's scared of Tiger. It's noon. But Tiger still hasn't sold a thing. He returns home with his cart, disappointed. Tiger eats all the green bean pies that night. His tummy is so full. The next day, Tiger bakes a delicious batch of banana pies. He goes to sell them under an ancient tree. The steam from Tiger's cart carries the aroma of the pies up, 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 straight into Monkey's nose. Monkey wants to taste the pies, but doesn't dare climb down. He is scared of Tiger. It's noon and Tiger hasn't sold anything. He returns home with his cart, discouraged. He eats all the banana pies that night. His tummy is so, so full. On the third day, Tiger bakes delicious sweet potato pies and goes to the meadow at the edge of the forest to sell them. Sweet potato aroma spreads across the meadow. It reaches Pig. Pig starts feeling hungry, but Pig is afraid of Tiger. It's noon, but Tiger still hasn't sold anything. He returns home with his cart, sadder than ever. He eats all the sweet potato pies that night. His tummy is now as big as a balloon. On the fourth day, Tiger doesn't bake anything. He is determined to find out why nobody is buying his delicious pies. He sees deer, monkey and pig sitting on a grassy knoll. He hears them talking. Monkey says, Tiger's pies smelled so delicious. Pig says, I am dying to eat one. Deer says, but we are all afraid of Tiger. Tiger has an idea. On the fifth day, Tiger makes three sets of pies, green bean, banana, and sweet potato. He stuffs them into his biggest cart. He rolls around in white flour. He cuts off his claws. He puts on a pair of long ears. Now Tiger looks like a bunny. He eagerly rolls his cart to the grassy knoll. After some time, someone calls out. We want to buy some pies. Tiger looks around and is very surprised. He sees three tigers coming to buy his pies. One has a big nose and big ears. One has a pair of antlers. One has long arms. Tiger recognizes pig, deer, and monkey immediately. The other three also recognize Tiger. The four of them burst out laughing. Nobody is afraid of Tiger anymore. They all become friends. His bakery becomes the most popular place in the entire forest. Every day, Tiger sells out of pies before noon. The End